Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. But yeah, so th there's a couple of different options that we could have right there. I mean, me personally, I'd prefer the roof one. So we'll, we'll add that one in. And then there's a few different designs, the rubber matting underneath, um, equipment default, you've got covers on it, chopper one. I'm just going to go with the default on that. I'm not going to add any extra options, really. We're just going to leave it like that. So we've got this bison combine right here. It would be 24,300 with the shelter, with a little parasol over the top of us. And I'd like to have the parasol. I would like to at least stay comfortable like that. And then we need to go and get the header. 17,000 for the header. This is the old one here, and then this is the newer one in here. And as we've got one of the oldest combines, it don't make sense to have the oldest header as well. So we would have that one right there without covers going over the outsides of all the belts and everything um because that costs extra we would just have it like that because that's how they used to do things um these days you have covers over everything um a long time ago they said don't stick your fingers in it i mean yes the covers do help for those moments where you accidentally trip and fall against it and and that does happen so the covers do help but yeah you you, you do sometimes wonder although there was a lot of accidents back in these days. Every, everybody says, oh, yeah, well, that back then, you know, everybody had common sense. They wouldn't have stuck their fingers in it. Actually, one of the main reasons that we have covers and everything nowadays is because people did stick their fingers in it. So, <laughs> yeah, you read into that how you like. Um, so we've got this header right here. There's a couple of different models that we can have on it, which do actually cost a bit extra. They don't really give us anything extra. So we will, there's no extra speed along the ground or anything like that. So we'll just go with that. So 17,000 for that one plus 24,000 for the other one. And then we've got this here as well. So 24,000 would be 31, 41, 42,500. Call it 43,000 with the extra. 43,000 euros we need to get. We've got three. We need another 40. Once we get another 40,000, we can buy the combine that will be able to do our wheat harvest up there. And that will be feeding our chickens. We need somewhere to keep the wheat. Now, I've got a couple of... We have got some cheap silos, I believe. Uh, the cheapest base game ones, like 117,000, which is utterly utterly obscene and i don't really want to do that uh there is that one for seventy-two thousand. um again no that seems a little bit obscene um that one at twenty-five thousand is looking a lot better that's eight that holds eight hundred thousand liters uh either of those two i think that's actually converted from fs 17 uh, fs 19 sorry um this one at 11,000 is actually one that I think is quite cool. I, I like the look of this one. 11,000 is also very, very good. It's a decent amount. That's a hayloft right there. Um, so 11,000 looks like it's our best option. There's another one there for 11,000. Uh, this is multi-fruit silo with bun. I'm not sure where you go and tip, but I actually really like this one. The only problem with it is the the way that it's shaped means it's going to be difficult to build it on our property. And then you've got that one there, which has got 5 million litres of storage. Really, really tall. So it's going to kind of stand up a bit on our mountain and it's going to look out of place. And I think that would probably upset our neighbours. So we're going to have to try and figure something out for grain storage here. But I'm not quite sure which one we're going to go for yet. I mean, there's a cheap farm silo there. It holds 5 million litres and is only 5,000 euros. But to be honest, although, I mean, when you look at it, I was going to say it feels a bit cheaty. Only 5,000. But when you look at it, the reason it's only 5,000 is a bit of a grotty thing. If we stick out behind some trees, it's not really going to blight the landscape either. We have got to take that into account. We have definitely got to take that into account. Right. Um, back down here. I'm hoping now we can... I don't want to do that. We can get some more sewing jobs going. So I can borrow items on... it. We, we only ever seem to have... Oh, no, that's a different one there. Right, this one here is fo uh, foeing. Sowing field 16 with oat. So we will 
borrow items for that one. And we have got four active contracts now. This is fantastic. That's what we wanted. So we will get our fourth active contract up and running. I've got a whole load of seed over there and I've got a little bit of seed over that side. Let's get this one hooked up. And loaded with seed. There, like that. Now that's only going to be 500 litres in there. So I'm going to want more seed. Now this is... Actually, I don't remember what it is that I'm loading. But I, I really do love the way that you got the individual bags on those pallets. I think that is quite cool. Um, but that's that one fully loaded to the gunnels right there. So we've got... No, no. It's this one right here. Oats. Oats in field 16. So I can't actually have that set until I get the seed drill on the back. So we'll like, hook that one on a minute. There, like that. There we go. Right, now we go barley, oat there. That's the one that we want. Fold that one up and I get this one down to field 16 and start this one working. And then we've got to come back and get another one going. We are going to spend just about all of our available money on um, hired help on the wages. But I still think it's going to be worth it. Like, having this big slug of contracts happening all at the same time, I definitely think is the way forward. I think this, this is the way to do things. Um, we're going to make ourselves a vast fortune by the time all of these jobs get finished. And that is going to, hopefully, pay for our combine. That's the, the priority purchase at the moment is that combine. We really, really, really need to have that combine. That is our number one priority purchase. I'm starting to wonder if we're going to get any seed drill combination that isn't the John Deere and this particular seed drill with the, the carrier. The seed carrier on the front, because that's all we've had so far. I'm sure we will. I'm sure there will be some others come along, some, some slightly different ones. I'm also wondering what I'm going to do with all this seed that's left over, because we've got a lot of it. Now, there is a government... Oh, I was just going to return it all, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. We'll do it like that. We, we will stick with that plan. We will just return it all. So let's start that one right there. On Oats, Field 16... And schmastic. Off he goes. And most of these are almost done. So we've got that one there. This one has decided to just give up. I didn't even realise it stopped. I'm going to just manually do. the actual seed drill selected. I'm going to manually do a couple of passes along the top end of the field here so that it doesn't do that again. Quite sure why it did. I Well, actually, I do know why it did. It went up against a tree and decided it couldn't go any further and so then just decided to give up. So we've only got 860 litres left in this one. I think, though, this one was one that I didn't... I only put 1,000 litres in here anyway. So I think we're all right on this one. Um, so if I just do down here and then actually we could probably just do down here and then start it working from this side of the field and it'll still be all right I am gonna do the usual um, rule that we have where we complete the contract properly we don't just go with the bit where it says okay you've done enough um, the farmer says it's complete and leave a strip down the field. We are actually going to finish each of the jobs. So if I let that one keep going down there, and then he will work his way across and do the whole field. So this field over here, this one's almost done. We've almost got one completely done here now, which is fantastic. And then we are back over this way. So let's go with sewing job number five. I got oat right there, supply and transport. I'm not doing that. Um. No, we're definitely not going into those jobs. 
Uh, field 18 with corn. This is our first job that requires a row planter. So we want to borrow items for field 18 corn job. Let's go to you. And I've got a bit on the seed drill on the front. Don't put fertilizer in these when you're doing these jobs because it's never worth it. So I want that one there and then I want additional seed to go in the back. And I may end up not wanting to use all of the seed for this, but we will sort of wait and see. So that one on the front, I'll lower that down and then we'll open it like this. Does that only take fertilizer in the front? Oh, well, that's a bit of a jolly nuisance, isn't it? That one only takes fertilizer, so we just, we're just we going to be wanting this one on the back. So I'm only able to put 600 liters. This one's going to need a refill. This one is definitely going to need a refill. Right. I'll take that one. I'll start folding it up. Like that and I need to go to actually where am I going oh field 18 field 18 with this one that is well just the other side of field 19 right here so all I got to do is come down here and then turn right and I'm up to field 18 and field 19 is the next one on the list actually so that one's going to be fairly easy to do the refill uh, we'll probably want our trailer to come out to this machine right here that we're taking out because of the only 600 liters that we've got here. Let's just double check that it's definitely corn that they want. So we go on up here, field 18. It is definitely corn, right. Let's unfold that one. Bring that down here. I wonder if I should do a pass up the side of the field here. Is that going to help? didn't really want to, but I'm thinking actually it might be a good idea. Just one pass up through here. Just so... You know what? I don't think it's going to make a huge... Uh, let's, let's try not doing that. Let's just try doing that a minute. And I'll just go up there straight like that. And then... Bring it back down over here. And I will go to that point, bring it out, start planting. I noticed that the row crop planter now does a very different pattern to what it used to. The pattern, didn't, the pattern used to be exactly the same as the one for the other crop, but they don't do that now. It's a completely different, it's a completely new pattern. I actually quite like that. You can discern the difference between the two different types of um, planter that you're using. He's actually planting. He's going right in the line from the previous lot there. Which again is, is rather cool. So that one's going to go up there. Okay, he's going to carry on up through and turn around and quite possibly hit that tree. There we go. That's why I was thinking that we might need to change things around. You know, he's managed to cope despite the bad driving. Let's get the next one going. Let's go in here. So we want another contract, a field 19. This one is also being sown with corn. So I want to borrow items once more like that. Let's just check on them. So there's oats going in there. That's doing fine. Uh, oats going in there. He's doing fine. He's got plenty of grain left to finish that field. This one over here, sorghum. He's got quite a bit to go. But he should be fine with the grain he's got left. And this one is very nearly almost finished. In fact, I'm actually going to bring that one out onto this side right here. And start it there. So it does a strip down through. And then sort of moves into the middle of the field. So that one's very nearly almost done with the soybeans there. And then we're back over this way. And I want... An old Valtra. Okay, I need to get that front weight on. 
And then we've got to get this one loaded up and moved into the field. And then we've got to start... Oh, we've then got to unfold it. And I actually really like this seed drill. I like the way that this one works with the unfolding and the folding and so on. I think this one's quite cool. So we'll hook that one on there. Again, only 660 for seed. And then the rest of it is fertilizer but we're not bothering with fertilizer so we'll just bring you over here like this and load up 660 like that excellent bring you back yeah this seed drill here i think is very cool i like this one i like the way that it folds away this is one that i particularly like right uh should be okay up that end Everything seems all right up there. So I'm going to do a single pass across the field starting on this side. And then it should just carry on and work. So what we do is we drop that one down there. And then you move around to the middle of the seed drill and hook that in. And then you fold it once you're into the middle. So we come back here like this. And hook that one on like that. There we go. And then fold it like that. And it's now ready for sewing. Fantastic drill that one is. I love the way it does that. Okay, and that background over here. And then contract on field 18 is 10% complete. We'll go rushing across here like this and as soon as you've finished your rushing we will turn on should be enough room now to turn on the ends of the field without any trouble I know that we've got the seed right there but we're just going to ignore that and pretend that never really happened that's just going to have to go down as an expense that we can't do anything about we might I suppose we had to come down with a bucket now that we're doing a job on this field and pick that bit up. But the other bits that are elsewhere, we're not going to be able to do anything with those anyway. So we're just going to leave it. Okay, so that one is away. You are doing just fine in here. This one's going to finish fairly quickly. I might finish the field without needing a refill, but I doubt it. You have got plenty to go. Contract on 17 is 88% complete. This is 17 here. And yeah, he's almost done in this field. And you, you've got a fair bit to go still. This one here has got one tiny little strip to go. And then that job is completed. Right. I'm going to jump back down here a second. And I'm going to get another one running. So I've already got that one on field 9 completed, but I'm not going to um, complete it yet until he's actually finished his work. So field 20 next. We want to plant that one with sugar beet. So I want to borrow items there like that and move to this one. So I want to get the seed drill hooked on, the bit on the front hooked on. I'm down to 1,700 euros. But I'm about to cash in one job, which is going to get us a little bit of money. Let me bring that background there like that and load that one up. Excellent. And then just wait one second. I'm going to quickly hop through the machines. Oh, he hasn't quite finished yet. Okay, that's fine. We've loaded that one up. Fold. This was field 20, I think, wasn't it? So look. Yeah, field 20 and sugar beet. We've got to remember to get the right crop going. So it means sugar beet right there. Field 19. I am doing field 19 with the correct one, aren't I? Corn. Yes. Okay. And I'm doing corn. Right. That's okay. For a minute, I thought I'd made a mistake and I was doing like, the, the wrong... Right, AI Worker H has completed their task. I see how fast the money is ticking down. If you've got a big fleet of workers going like this, it is definitely going to use up a fair bit of cash. But on the plus side, 
it's absolutely 100% worth it. It's definitely worth it, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to just unfold this one. We'll start working from down here, and we'll start working up and down across that direction in the field. Um, so the first job that we cash in is going to get us 9,000, I think it was. Something like that. There's going to be a lot of money coming in now soon. Let's get you going right there. Having this con having this um, thing that uh, lets us um, have more than just the three contracts is definitely worth it. That is definitely a good thing. So you have got... You're going to get this job done pretty quickly, but you're also going to run out of corn before we finish. So this one's definitely going to need a top up. You over here... Yeah, you're going to need a top-up as well. Are you going to be able to turn around here with that tree? This is the only bit that I'm wondering if he's going to be able to do it. Yes, he is. Okay, that one's fine. You over here, absolutely fine as well. You over this side, two more passes and you'll be finished. Bit to go on that one. Uh, probably won't need a top-up. That one has now finished completely. So, field contract on field 17 has finished. But we're not cashing in 17 just yet. So let's go in here. 17 might be finished, but we're not going to cash it in. Field 9. I do want to cash in that one. Uh, field 22 is the very last one. This is going to be Sugar Beet. Now, where is Field 22? That is that one down there. I just wanted to make sure, because I don't really fancy driving all the way up over there to go and do more jobs. So let's jump down here. Field 22, sewing job, uh, borrow items. That's a sugar beet one as well. There. Right. I have 1,100 left. I'm not going to be able to finish all of these jobs. So I don't know why I don't cash in that one. Let's, let's cash in that first one at least. Field 9. That one is done, so I can collect. I get reimbursement of 150 for the seed that is on board the machine. And that's how we'll do it. That way we don't have seed lying around and we don't have to spend ages trying to gather it up. It might not be quite as much as we paid for it, but I'm quite happy with that. So I'll collect that one. That gives us 6,600 euros in total, which is plenty to finish most of the rest of the contracts I should think there's other contracts we could go and do as well but I'm, I'm rather liking this this massive team of people are out working and earning us a small fortune I think this is this is quite a cool thing to have going on you want to take that lot so I, there's gonna be the two I would say at least these two that are doing the corn jobs plus this one. Well, one's doing corn. One, well, there's corn and there's sugar beet and so on. The ones that are doing the row crop planting, I think they're probably all going to need topping up. So we're going to have to get another pallet or two. I don't want to get too many pallets. Because I don't want to have to reimburse too much. Uh... Actually, let's start over this side over here. I think that's probably going to be a better way to do it. Run down here and we'll start on this side. The money is ticking down fairly quickly, isn't it? It's, it's quite impressive, the speed that our cash is disappearing. But it's going to be worth it. Like, we're only going to need one or two jobs to pay for the wages and all of the seed. And then everything else is pure profit. AI worker J has completed their task. So you over on this field, you're doing a grand job. You've got a bit to go. This one is at least halfway through field 19. You're going to need a top up fairly soon. This one also going to want a top up before we finish. Field 18. Down over here on field 16, he won't need a top up, he's doing a great job. Field 17 has now finished, so we can cash that one in. And then we've got field 11 right here, they won't need a top up, we've still got 40% of the tank for Sorghum. That's doing a brilliant job, and then we're back up over here. So, 
I'm going to want to go into the shop and buy a pallet of seed. Now, what seed was it? Am I? U I think I'm just using the pioneer seed, aren't I? Let's buy that one. One, two. Right, that gives us three pallets of seeds. We'll take the three pallets and then we can go into the fields and we can start loading up the machines that are running up and down the fields. That's not the one. I didn't get the pioneer ones. I got some different ones. What did I have there? Premium. I got premium. Okay. Uh, it would help if I had the right one. So we got left, shift, Z, liquid tank, big bag pallets, big bags, euro pallet overloaded. That's the ones we want. Load that one onto there. And I need to just get that bit right there. So we'll we'll run over to field 19 first and we'll reload that one. There we go. Run over to field 19. Right. Because then I can go across the field. So I'm going to go straight across the field here. I mean, I probably shouldn't be driving on the stuff that we've already done like this. So that's probably not the way to behave. And that, how's that for timing? How is that for timing? He literally just ran out right then. We could not have asked for better. Okay, we'll stop right there like that. I'm not going to take the straps off. I'm just going to keep it like this. So we'll, um, we'll back up a little bit. I'll fill it all the way up to the brim. And I'll back up a little bit like that. And off we go. Okay, that one's going to go through there, and I'm going to go back to this one. And I'll go straight over to this one just here, and load this one up. If I can just get in front of him, he will actually stop. There we go. So I can make him stop like that, and... Just turn the hired help off a second and bring it up beside the trailer. Reload. We only had 95 litres left in there, so that one can go back there. Uh, turn those beacons off. Back to it like that. And hired help. Right. I will now move out of your way. So let's go over onto the middle bit. We'll run down to the next one just down there. This is all of the row crop ones is in this bit in here. There's no row crop ones anywhere else, is there? So that one I'm going to reload. I want to reload him over there. And then the one over on the field the other side of the road is going to be the last one to reload. So I don't need to worry about that one just yet. This one I probably don't really need to worry about either. But... As I'm here, I'll just do that. In here like this. That one's which up. Yeah, he's, he's not even used half the tank yet, but he will eventually use it. So let's bring you on up onto there like that. There's one pallet gone. There's a little bit more. Because what I don't want is to have a load of seed left over at the end. I'd rather just use all the seed up. I think that would be a better way of doing this. I will one round that one. Uh, yeah, you're, you're all done. I won't need to refill that one. I might need to refill the one that we've just done. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.